Hello and welcome to this quick tips video. One of the most common things to need to do when you're working with multi-track audio or multiple guitar recordings etc is to move those tracks to a folder and put them in a group for audio. These are the kind of things you can do fairly easily in a few clicks but what you may not know is that in many later versions of Cubase there is a default macro set which will do this for you. And in this case, I can show you it because there I've highlighted all the tracks by clicking on the first one, shift and clicking on the top one. And then I just do the keyboard shortcut I've got set up. You can see it's put them in a group. It's asking for a name. I'm going to call it drum group. And we're done. The drums will now go through there and they're in a folder which we can call drums. I can collapse, keep everything nice and tidy. So how to set that up? Fairly straightforward. Under edit, we've got key commands. We go there. And if you look in the macro section, so you can expand this, make this window bigger because it's actually resizable in later versions of Cubase. Just expand macro and you should see selected tracks to new folder and add group channel. So all I've done is I've added a key to that. So I'm just gonna show you how you do that. So once you've got this highlighted, you click in this box, you type in the keys you want. I'm going to use Control Out Command F because that's kind of symbolic. And then press Assign. So anytime I select those tracks, I can press just that one keyboard shortcut, name it, and I'm done. So that's your quick tip for today. Hope you found it useful, and we'll see you again soon.